Okay, hello everyone. This is Bakari with Mac Photography Tips. And this is kind of be one of my first in a series of before and after um, video tutorials using Aperture 2.0. And basically what I'm going to do is just take, you know, some photos that I have in my photo library, Aperture library, and, you know, talk about and you know, describe some of the ways that I uh, enhance or correct uh, a photo and so um, this is the purpose of it and, and as I do this if you have suggestions for how you would have done it differently or things that I could have done you know better or what have you um, please leave me some comments also if you have questions or if you like this series let me know as well and I'll you know try to do more of them uh, first off before I get into you know enhancing this photo I want you to look at my the, my my background my desktop which is a neutral gray um, if you are doing you know some editing of photos in your on you know on your computer you should keep your desktop with a neutral gray instead of black or or all white or definitely not having a lot of distracting colors in the background by keeping a neutral gray you can get a better assessment of colors that you're working with in Aperture 2.0 or any editing program for that matter so I just keep my, my desktop screen neutral gray because I work with a lot of photos from time to time I mean I would love to have a colorful uh, desktop background but it doesn't really work well for doing photo editing now, so let's get back to this photo here. This is, uh, you know, just a typical photo taken, shot in RAW. You know, I like the composition of it. I like this kind of blue background here. Um, but what we notice, one thing we notice is that it's kind of a kind of a haze to it, lacking contrast. And if you look at the histogram right here, you see that there is some kind of blown highlights right up in here, where it's really bright. And we want to try to bring back some detail into that. So. One of the first ways to do that is kind of start with, you know, kind of darken it up just a little bit. Don't want to make it too dark because it's already, you know, dark enough. You have, you know, and, and you notice when I, when I did that, it kind of, it brought down some of the highlights there. Okay. Another way of dealing with the highlights is recovery. This is um, highlight recovery, which brings in detail to highlighted areas. So, you see, again, you notice that as I move this over, you know, that highlight bar if you will is coming down on the history on histogram so it tells you that I am trying to deal with those those highlighted areas and then down here is another highlight recovery tool which you really want to use this judiciously um, if you bring all the way over you see enough really funky things to your entire photo so I just use it just enough to bring in more detail here so already we see if we press the key, uh, the M key for master, you see that we've kind of dealt with some of the highlighted areas already. Okay. Now let's go back to next dealing with uh, the black areas. The, the shadow areas are okay. Um, if we want to bring in just a little bit more contrast, then we might want to pull the, the black points over some. And then let's go down to contrast. I already have a preset for contrast, but I'm just going to not use those right now, but and, and just kind of go here and work with definition. Definition and, and vibrancy really work well on skin tones, and so you pull those over just to get some contrast in her skin and, and, and uh, overall contrast in the photo. Okay, and then we'll go down to luminance levels, and I have a preset here. It's... Um, 0. Point, I mean, 0. 0.04, 0. 0.50, and 0. 0.92. This is where I start. I mean, I, I just use that to kind of get started. It gives me, it kind of bumps up the colors there already for me. Um, it kind of shot the highlights back up. So what I'm going to do is get that out. So this, this side deals with highlights and levels. This side deals with the dark areas and shadows. And this deals with the, the mid-tones. So I just kind of play around with that into my liking. You see how that affects the mid-tones of the photo. So, do that. I want to make sure we get those highlights back in there. Oops, okay. So that, that kind of goes there. And I just kind of play around until I kind of get it to where I kind of like it. And it's kind of the okay there. And then um, I might want to bump up the saturation in this blue door just a little bit. So it's already blue, so I'll just bring that in just a little. Okay. 
and then let's go back up to the temperature because again this is raw photo you can definitely you know you know enhance the ISO settings by using the temperature gauge here and I just want to warm it up just a little bit there because particularly because it is a uh, portrait don't want it too cool and then lastly we're going to go into I'll uh, just do full sharpening there and it kind of has an effect there now one of the things I could work on as well is um, the noise reduction here and I'm not going to do it in this particular photo here right now but that's another thing I could work on as well you can see some evidence of noise and usually I use noise ninja for that but uh, just for the sake of time I'm not going to bother with it today but that's again you see the before pressing the M key before and after all right gives a lot of good tr contrast you know brightens up her skin tone some and that's it so again if you have some some questions let me know um I, you know if i were taking this into photoshop or using the patch tool i, you know, I might get rid of some of this here but i'm, I'm going to keep it like it is for right now so that's it if you like this let me know and we'll definitely be having some more in the series thank you very much